Hello everyone, my name is Alan Gonzalez and I'm the radiation specialist here at Berkeley Nucleonics. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to unpack and just a quick sort of guide on how to prepare yourself when you receive your new SAM 945. Um, if you do end up acquiring a unit or if you demo it, it's going to come in a Pelican case uh, identical to this. Uh, so let's open it up and let you know what's in there. So with the unit, uh, it comes standard with a PDA, it comes standard with a detector, uh, power supplies, a card charger, and straps. So let me just show you what all those things are. So you get the straps, you get your power supply, you get your charger, you get your detector, and you get your phone, your PDA. So the PDA will already have the application pre-installed, so you're pretty much good to go. So just some qualities of the of the unit. Right here, you see the, the power. Here's the handle for the PDA. Power supply. You turn that on. The detector, very rugged instrument. The laser and the light. Some of the exterior features of our new unit. Very rugged. Drop, uh, drop test approved. So right here you have your detector and you have your PDA and that's pretty much all you'll need to get started. Just some quick highlights. Um, we've definitely improved our SAM 945 from our older 940. Very rugged. Um, hard casing. We don't have that external detector anymore. It's uh, very well protected um, as you can see. Um, the unit comes standard with a 3x3 sodium iodide but we do also offer lanthanum bromide and cerium bromide and all the units will include a GM detector for that high dose rate. So right here you have your hook and this is where you'll be placing the PDA. Very sturdy, very easy to maneuver. Another feature that we've uh, added is the laser. So you get a laser for, for just for distance, give you a good indication of how far you are from a source, and a flashlight as well for very dark or um, not well lit environments. So it's just some added features. Um, the PDA, already, like I indicated, already comes standard with the app. So you simply turn it on you're good to go and you could attach that right here to the hook turn it over and you're good to go So the very first thing to do is to turn on the detector and right here is the power button. So you turn that on, your detector is um, good to go. The next thing is to turn on your PDA. So you turn it on, you'll go to the home screen and that's where you'll see our SAM3 uh, Peak ID application. And that's already, like I said, it's already pre-installed so you don't have to go through the lengthy process of getting it onto your phones. It's just there. So you click on it. Click on the app, you'll be uh, led to a menu that gives you access either to user or administrator. Um, the standard um, password will be 1234. Um, after that, you'll see the auto calibration in progress. That takes around 10 to 15 seconds. It's kind of getting an understanding of the environment, uh, checking to see if the spectrum is off. So that's what you'll see right there. Uh, very normal, like I said, it takes around uh, 10 to 15 seconds. And if it is a success, you'll see auto calibration success. If there is a failure, if the spectrum is off, it will be failure and you'll have to either use a, go through manual calibration uh, with a cesium-137 source. But right here, we got success. 
you get your dose rate, you get your counts per second, you're turning 90 degrees, you get your high definition spectrum, linear spectrum, something that with our old 945 and QCC was definitely uh, not possible. So you get that. Um, the next thing I would highly recommend to everyone um, when purchasing this unit and using it for the first time, or using it for the first time and using it every day basis, the very first thing you need to do is do a background check. And you do that by clicking setup. Click setup, turn it 90 degrees, click the three buttons, and then click background. Right there you're getting a background, you're getting a good understanding of what's in your area. Uh, make sure not to have any check sources in the area because this is a very sensitive detector. Um, it's a 3x3 with a GM2, so extremely sensitive. So if you do have cesium 137 or anything there, get it out or else the unit won't be able to identify or detect it. Uh, the second very critical thing to do is to do a manual calibration with cesium 137. Uh, just to check to see if the spectrum's off, um, uh, it'll give you a good indicator if the unit's well calibrated, um, let you know if the spectrum's off, if it is drifting a bit. And the same, and the way to go about that is start main screen, where you get your dose rate and counts per second, click setup, you go 90 degrees, you click the three dots right there. Again, you'll see background calibration. You click calibration, you put a cesium-137 source right there, and then your unit will start to pick it up. So, and you'll be able to determine whether or not your unit is right, is uh, whether your spectrum is aligned based on the cesium-137 energy line. Once that's done, it'll say success. Your unit's good to go. You'll get your, your dose rate, your counts per second. You'll get your high definition spectrum. Right there, you, that blue bar, you easily slide it down, slide it up. You'll get a good indication of the specific isotopes based on whether they're SNM, industrial, medical, norm, or unknown and they're color coded just like our old SAM 940. So a lot of the, we've done a lot of improvements with our new 945, but we've also kept a lot of the, the great features that our customers uh, just knew and got used and loved. So we're, we're definitely excited about our new 945. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call, send us an email. Um, we have staff, great engineering staff here, uh, ready to help you out. So let us know um, how we can, uh, how we can help. All right, thank you so much.